Is your closet packed with stuff destined for the donation bin? Most of us barely even wear the stuff we have before we go out and buy something new. In fact, we're buying about 70 new garments every single year. So do the math. For a family of five, that works out to buying a new piece of clothing almost every single day of the year. Donating your old clothes to charity might make you feel better than putting them in the trash, but the reality is nobody needs your old college sweats. It's called the clothing deficit myth. A lot of us think that when we donate our clothes to charity, they're actually going to someone in need. But it's more likely that your clothes are gonna end up in the garbage. Every year, more than 25 billion pounds of textiles end up in North American landfills. Here's some of the reason why. We're buying 400% more clothes than we did in the 1980s. Stores are rapidly restocking. Some even bring in new clothes every other day. Experts say we can thank fast fashion for this. We can buy way more for way less. Those buying habits lead to millions of pounds of unwanted clothes in donation centers. Charities sell or give away what they can, but the rest is sold to a middleman, a company you've probably never heard of with a warehouse the size of football fields sorts and then distributes your unwanted clothes. That middleman sells those clothes to developing countries. Kenya was Canada's top customer for secondhand clothes in 2016. But forget one man's trash is another man's treasure. These countries, they don't need our cast-offs. What they can't use or sell ends up in landfills or burned. So why not just recycle our old clothes? Because it's super hard. Most of our stuff is made with blended fabric, so they don't break down easily. Take your favorite skinny jeans, for example. They're made with cotton and elastane. It's actually cheaper to make a new pair of jeans than take the material from your old ones and reuse and recycle it. And get this, nearly 4,000 liters of water go into making a new pair of jeans. So what can you do? Well, experts say even before you donate, you've got to find a way to give your clothes a longer life. So consider having a clothing swap. Maybe give your cast-offs to friends or family someone who's going to get use out of it. But ultimately, the best thing you can do, buy less.